Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I'm a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos and happy holidays. So, Virg, we are coming up on the new year and whoever this person is, is feeling like you are being funny. You started acting different. And Virgo is like, no, I've always been like this. <laughs> okay, Queen of Pentacles energy, male or female does not matter. But I feel like Virgo, there's a lot of things that, there's a lot of other things that are occupying your mind other than love right? Like work, family, your passions, getting certain things off the ground, tying up certain loose ends. And I feel like your person is over here like wondering why the Virgo's acting differently or why are you going against all this love that you have for them, Virg? Right? And I say that because when I did your pre-shuffle, first car when we got their energy toward you was false person. I'm like, excuse me, I'm offended. They feel like the Virgo is acting as though acting as though they feel differently than they really do. So I clarified this false person card and got lovers, which talks about a passionate connection, shared vision and values. Now, this is how this person thinks that or this is how this person is feeling toward you, right? They feel like you that you guys have a ton of connection. You guys are very passionate about each other. So many, so many similarities. This reminds me of like a two of cups card, right? But it's like there's this energy where they feel like you don't really show it or you stop showing it. And number two, they also feel like now they have to put on a front. So they're not really opening up to you as much as they usually would. Okay, clarify this card, Spirit. What's going on here? What is going on with this, Virgo? Clarify the false person. Clarify the false person. Oh, Lord, I done took a whole bunch of soil with me from that damn plant I got sitting over here. Hold on, Virgo. All right. <laughs> clarify the false person. What is this? What is this? Four of Pentacles. Look, Four of Pentacles is a card of holding back. And you see how this person has like a fan over their face. They're not really revealing who they are. Neither is this person. They got a damn mask on. So I feel like both of you guys, Virgo, are holding back from each other for whatever reason. And you feel safer that way, especially this person. Maybe they haven't reached out. Maybe they're holding back on some sort of affection or kindness. Now, how is my Virgo receiving this kind of behavior? Because this is not it. How is Virgo receiving this kind of, this person's behavior? Look, Ace of Swords, <laughs> two to two in the time, and Virgo's ready to wield that goddamn sword. Ace of Swords also could represent, obviously, communication, conversation. Nine of Pentacles, here is you. I feel like you wouldn't mind having a discussion, but you also are like, you know what? I'm thinking about cutting you off, to be honest, to be quite honest. Why is the Ace of Swords here for how my Virgo feels? Look, Six of Swords reversed. This is something that, that hasn't really been closed. This is not a chapter that has been closed out here, Virgo. And I feel like it, it gives you a little bit of stress and anxiety because you're just like, why won't this person go away? Why do they pop up in my mind? And I think because of that, it makes you kind of want to ignore them more because it's like, you know what? I need to stay on top of the situation. Look, I just put the deck. Seven of Cups reversed. Like, I need clarity. I need something that's going to be concrete. I can't keep being in this limbo position with this person. Okay, what does Virgo want in this connection? What is my Virgo wanting? Ace of Cups. Wow. It's like, listen, you it's all or nothing. You either give me a love offer or we can keep it pushing. Yes, it's very cute. We have a passionate connection, shared vision, values. There's a lot that we get along with. I know about your mother. I know about your situation. I know about your upbringing. That's, that's good and dandy. But it's like, I don't care how much you like me if I'm still single out here, right? Like, how much do you really like me if I'm still single? So I feel like, Virgo, that's the kind of energy that you have. Tell me more about why does this person feel like they need to hold back because they seem like they need to be up in it okay especially as the new year is upon us why does this person feel the need to hold back from my virgo we got the queen of swords reverse what the hell bottom of deck hangman reverse this is crazy so it so you guys could have just recently got out of a stuck position it could be dealing with a pisces i got sagittarius energy here also you could be it could be an air sign right but with the hangman in reverse this is the energy of like you guys just got out of a weird place or are, are about to. Maybe this person contacted you. It is retrograde season, so things are definitely wonky. But with the Queen of Swords reverse, it's like you got out of the stuck place or getting out of the stuck place and they're still not putting their best foot forward. I feel like this person is somebody who has very dip, who has a very, very difficult time compromising here, Virg. Tell me more. Tell me more about this spirit. Like it's like it's my way or they get kind of get cold or something like that. What is this? Wow. All right, overall energy. I'm sorry that I couldn't be what you wanted me to be. And the card that popped out is I should have fought for you, Virgo. 
Okay, so it's like now that it's time for you to show me, it's you're still acting a damn fool. Okay, so why do they feel like why do they feel like them and the Virgo are perfect for each other or have this really deep connection? Why did that card pop out? Ooh, the moon. Okay. So this definitely talks about feelings that have been undisclosed, feelings that are uncomfortable, feelings that run deeply. All right, there, this also does talk, talk about deception. So I'm going to bring that up now because false person can mean several things. But now that I'm getting a card that does also represent deceptions, I'm feeling comfortable to, enough to say it. So I definitely feel like there was some deception around this connection. Maybe this person was showing that they were more committal in the very beginning than they really are. Why am I getting a deceptive energy here, Spirit? Yeah, because I just, I just feel like there's this vibe to them where it's like there's, okay, yeah, Seven of Swords is deception. All right, five, five, five of the timer is chaos. All right, Knight of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles popped out. So, yeah, I feel like there was this, you guys, you had this false premise here, Virg, that you guys weren't sending to higher commitment or that things were working out, but it was just going really slowly, right, with the Knight of Cup, with the Knight of Cup, I'm sorry, Knight of Pentacles here. <clears throat> but now that you see how this person really is, I feel like that's why you're like, okay, I already know this here, Alyssa. Like, I'm ready. I am prepared to cut them off. My shank is tucked. All right, I'm not patting my hip because I'm doing that little dance, all right? But I feel like there's an energy where it's just like, um, I don't know. I don't know, Virgo. I just, I think you're privy to this. This is not new for you. And you're, you're ready to take action about this because I just feel like you don't want to be strung along with this person anymore. Okay. Now, why? Okay, tell me about the I should have fought for you. Tell me about the I should have fought for you. What is that? Seven of Cups, yeah. Nine of Swords, mm. that's an anxiety that they have to deal with. That stress, frustration, unfulfilled promises that they now have to deal with that they did to you. All right, because with the Seven of Cups, it's like, I don't know what move to make. I don't know how to come out of this. But I bet you the Queen of Swords reverse is not the right, is not the right first move. I tell you that. So this person is, 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 is coming out the gate effed up, Berg. They are. Like, they shouldn't be a Queen of Swords reverse with how they want to come toward. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's very crazy. Okay, give me more. Let me pull from another deck because this is not. Mm -mm. What is this? Clarify the lover's card. How do they plan on, what are they planning on doing that they, since they have not fought for Virgo in the past? So, like, what does that mean now? Oh, my God. All right, bottom of the deck, apology sincere. We did get the I'm sorry. So, I feel like this person is really apologetic. And there is a sincerity to it, although they're, they have been deceptive or they have been kind of, I guess, not forthcoming about the fact that they haven't been ready for commitment here, Virg. And I say that as well because the card that flew out is the ladies' man, the player player from the Himalayas. Okay, then popped on your reading today, Virg. It sure did. Right? So I feel like this person should have felt like they should have fought for you more because they didn't choose you. And I feel like this person, they kind of enjoyed their singlehood, their freedom, and they allowed time to pass. And now that they allow time, allow time to pass, that's the worst thing you can do for a Virgo. Because as time is passing, the Virgo is getting wiser and wiser and ready to move the hell on. Just period. <clears throat> Tell me more. Tell me more about my Virgo. What moves is my Virgo going to make the world card? Virgo is done. Virgo is done. It's like, I mean... Okay, because the world card is clarifying the Ace of Cups. It's like you didn't get the love offer, so you feel like it's not coming. It's like, what am I waiting around for? This is silly of me. Why would I do something like that? Okay, give me one more for Virgo. Yeah, Page of Cups. Page of Cups gives apologies. Look at the death card. I feel like this person, Virgo, either has to give you a very sincere apology along with the love offer for you to reconsider them or done. Done. Let's wipe the slate. Let's, this whole shit is quiet. <clears throat> so I feel this energy... Um, from you, Virg, where it's just like you you have your mind made up with what you want to do and you know you deserve it. This is the third sorry card we got. So you know you know you deserve apology. They know that they need to give you an apology. Okay, now what's making them feel like they owe my Virgo an apology? What is the driving force behind them feeling like they owe my Virgo an apology? Tell me more. Ooh, okay, I fell on the ground. Ooh, we got boundaries. All right. So the boundaries talks about knowing when to put up your walls and let down your walls. So I feel like this person never really allowed you in, which is why you guys weren't able to ascend higher commitment. I mean, how how far can you go with someone 
if you don't have access to them, right? You need full access to them. And I feel like Virgo, that's why you're in Ace of Swords. There were things in this relationship that weren't able to be cut down or able to be seen. Because the Ace of Swords talks about epiphany moment, truth. And if you can't see someone's truth or if they're always being a false person, keeping part of themselves tucked away from you, it's like, I can't, I can't do anything about that. Okay, tell me more. What is this person's plans around their boundaries? Clarify the spirit. What is this person's plans around not letting the Virgo in? Okay. Bottom of the deck, overcoming obstacles. And then we have declutter, letting go of old items, creating a new sacred space for yourself. So the way that I'm reading this is like your person understands that the way that they've been going about this connection is not going to go. It's not going to get you to anywhere. It's just not right. So I feel like they're realizing that there's certain things, certain habits, certain patterns. I'll even say that they have. And it's, this is over time. Bert. This person has been like this. This did not just start with you. So if that gives you any type of any type of. Solace, understand that that's, this is not a Virgo thing. This is like a them thing. It's very obvious because look how much, look at all this. They come with, they come with severe, 11, 11 timer. They come with severe baggage. So they have to declutter. They have to be the one to, to realize that they're, that, that they're just not going to get higher commitment, not even just with you, but with anybody if they keep this shit up. Okay. So tell me, tell me more about this card spirit. <coughs> Why is the lover's card here? Why is the lover's card here? Page of Wands. Okay, so you could be done with the Aries. Someone could also be younger than you here. Yeah, somebody could definitely be younger than you. But with this Page of Wands, this person is still really curious. I feel like they have some, oh my God. I feel like your person has been stunted, like emotional growth stunted spiritual growth stunted. It just feels like they're not really walking on their path here, Berg. Not to say that they're not trying. I mean, they do seem to be trying to declutter, get rid of some baggage, get rid of some old patterns, some old things, which is fantastic. That's a nice start. That's cute. But it's like they still have this immaturity to them. And there's nothing you can do with that, Berg. Like, okay, in what regard? Hold on. What is this? Does this person realize that they're immature? Mm. We got hooked at the bottom of the deck. It's like, not only are they immature, but they like that shit. They think it's cute, Berg. All right? It's, it's like, they plan on... It's almost like this is that person who's like, yeah, I know I I know, I never had a job, but that's okay. At, at some point, you know, I'll walk down the street and somebody's going to tap me on the shoulder and say, sir, do you need a job? Or ma'am, do you need a job? Like, there's somebody who just a little bit out of touch with reality in terms of how life works. They think that it's okay to just be aimless until one day they're given a map, not realizing that they have to sit down and create a map of their own. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. But the card that we got, with, with if, if they understand the level of the immaturity, we got crying over you. Sad, hurt, upset. Not really, Virg. Right? Because this is somebody who is, is a victim. <laughs> this is a victim. This person didn't do shit. Right. So I feel like your person looks at themselves as the one who is like. As the one who deserves some pity or some under some level of understanding or Virgo, like you should understand this about me. You already know how, like I said earlier, like, um, you know, maybe they opened up to you about past experiences, upbringing. So it's like Virgo, it's your job Virg, to already know why I'm the way I am. OK, so where so what path is this curiosity that they still have about the Virgo going to lead them down? What path, let me pull from this deck. What path about the curiosity for the Virgo is this going to lead them down? Because, like, they're still really excited. They still want to talk to you. I don't see this person never talking to you again if you guys are in uh, separation. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't know if Virgo going to be here for it. But we have courtship. So it's like they still see themselves being able to court you. They still see themselves being able to date you and things being able to go well. I don't know if this is, is this realistic in Virgo world? Is this realistic in Virgo world? Because let me just get one, please, spirit. Is this realistic in Virgo world? The hermit, hell no, it's not really. <laughs> the hermit is not with none of the bullshit. It's really not. Like the hermit does not mind being alone. Hermit is Virgo energy, by the way. So yeah, I feel like Virgo, you'd rather be by yourself than date this person at this level. 
I don't know, Virg. This reading is pretty straightforward today. All right. Let me pull some from the damn messy deck because I don't know what's going on. All right. Look, as I switched the deck, we got single. New love me, please. Like Virgo was cool with being single from this person. Or uh, there could also be new love around the corner. I just saw Leo. A Leo energy. All right. Tell me more, spirit. Just please tell me a little bit more. I'm confused. I don't understand. Clarify courtship. Yeah, look, as I said, I don't understand. Yes, un unanswered questions. Correct. I'm confused. Clarify courtship, please. We're going to say that courtship shit is quiet, number one. All right. We have building and a damn fool. <laughs> I feel like yeah, part of you could be a little bit open to this person, <clears throat> but you feel like, oh, my God. Would I be silly for this? Or is this person crazier than I'm giving it credit for? All right, because we also have the building card. Part of you and, and this person, because you've built with this person before, it's like, okay, what the hell? Like, maybe I can try it, but Ver I just feel like you wouldn't feel good about it unless, like, this person goes through some sort of major change here. You just wouldn't feel confident about, about the change, I guess I should say. As much as you'd like to, yeah, we have date here. Okay, as much as you'd like to probably date this person or, or try and be with them again, it just feels like you wouldn't be proud of this person or something. All right, give me more. Give me more of this person's energy toward my Virgo spirit. Ooh. All right, we have a text, but I can't show what kind of text it is, if you get me. All right, bottom of the deck, come see me. Okay. All right, Virgo, I'm going to go into the extended. I'm going to get your person's... Wow, Okay. Next actions toward you, how they're truly feeling and don't have the courage to say as well as what you're not expecting and the likely outcome. If you're interested, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Virg.